go. You are watching gospel music today. The news is next. This week, it's time to catch up on some new CD releases. The group that started many years ago as the Hayes family with Howard and Lucy Hayes and their children is now the Mylan Hayes family. They have a new CD entitled Enjoy the Journey. Gold City has released Hope for the Journey. That's their first mainline project since 2011. The CD was produced by Michael Sykes, Daniel Riley, and Ken Harding for New Haven Records. The Guardians have added Pat Barker as their bass singer, and they have officially become a quartet with the release of Ready for Revival. The CD was produced by Wayne Hahn and John Darren Rousey for Stowtown Records. Riley Harrison Clark of Tribute Quartet has released his first solo project, Welcome to Me, and that's on Daywind Records. Sunday Drive's new CD is A Million Miles on the Crossroads Music Group Sunlight label. The project was produced by Jeff Collins. That's a look at some of the happenings in the world of Southern Gospel. You can keep up with the latest Southern Gospel news by reading SGN Scoops Digital Magazine. Take a look at their website at sgnscoops.com. And you can find more Southern Gospel news at our website, gospelmusictoday.com. We have been on the road. Yes, we have. We've been to the Memphis Quartet Show, and we love going there. We saw Gold City that week while we were there, and I believe you have a clip. Yes, we do. After all these years, going back to the 1980s, Gold City Quartet, still one of the best. Yes, they are. One of my favorites. And we always love the Memphis Quartet show. It's a great event. We do. Who has a birthday this week? Happy birthday to Scott Brand. Scott sings with Gold City Quartet, and his birthday is on April 24. And we wish a happy birthday to all our Southern Gospel friends. We have more exclusive video from Gold City Quartet coming up in today's program. But first, Gene has been listening to some new music. 
A Closer Walk by Sherry Ann is a new CD. It was produced by Nick Bruno. It's a collection of well-known songs such as I Can't Even Walk, Just a Closer Walk, and The Rose. One of the songs was written by Sherry Ann and it's called Singing This Song to You. My favorite on the CD is Old Friends. That's A Closer Walk by Sherry Ann. This is a concert update from Gospel Music Today. Heartfelt will sing at David Street Church of God in Cartersville, Georgia, on May 4 at 7 p.m. If you're looking for a concert near you, check the search engine at gospelgigs.com. It's very easy to use, and you can always use the links at our website, gospelmusictoday.com. Gospel Messengers began performing in 2006. The formation of this father and son's trio was inspired by a love for the Lord and a desire to lift up his name through the tremendous and unique form of Southern gospel music. The Southards, Bart, Dennis, Daniel, and sound technician manager Gwen are dedicated to achieving an ever-increasing level of musical excellence and spiritual devotion. Throughout their 12 years of ministry, they have presented the gospel in a style reminiscent of the great performers of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. You can find out more about this week's feature group from Illinois at gospelmessengersministry.org. We have more exclusive concert video coming up. This is from the Memphis Quartet show, Gold City Quartet sang, and that is next on Gospel Music Today. That's my bread upon the water About helping my brother Struggling on life's stormy sea And then I'll be so and a good sea Like you and a good sea That'll come back, come back to me Oh, well, I picked up the good book And took me And every part But I sure rejoiced in knowing About the reaping and the sowing I really took that lesson to my heart I guess my bread upon the water About helping my brother Struggling on life's stormy sea And I'll be so Up next on Gospel Music Today, Ken visits with Donnie Williamson and Darren Abair of the Williamsons. 
Welcome back to Gospel Music Today. We were at the National Quartet Convention in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and guess who we ran into? Darren Bear and Donnie Williamson of the Williamsons. And that's up next on Gospel Music Today. We are at the National Quartet Convention with Donnie Williamson and Darren A. Bear from the Williamsons, and we want to welcome you guys to Gospel Music Well, today. thank you, Brother Ken. Good to be with you. Good to be with you out here. That's right. Oh, great place to gather up. Long way from home. For the, uh, Long way from home. Sure is. <laughs> All right. We want to talk about the new CD, of course, but um, I have to tell you that I'll see... Uh, you know, an article about the Williamsons, or I'll see some other comment that you make somewhere on Facebook, and I forget, as such a young guy, how far back you go in, uh, in gospel music singing. Oh. Take me back a little bit to your... Uh... Well, Ken, my family started singing when I was, before my voice even changed, I was 10 or 11 years old, so I, we go way back to the, the mid-late 60s uh, as the Williamson family and has pretty much been ongoing ever since. There have been a few times that we would not sing much, but it, it never totally stopped. It just kept going one form or another all these years. Yeah. And now the Williamsons uh, that we know with Donnie and Lisa, how did you and Lisa meet? Well, we actually met uh, met singing. Uh, she, uh, uh, she was singing with another group, and uh, uh, just and I'd known her family for years. Uh, I, I knew her father. Uh, uh, for a long time, but uh, we uh, got to know each other singing. When I needed a singer, she's the first one I thought of to call. And uh, and uh, when she joined us, well, she did such a good job. I thought the best way to keep her was just to marry her. So but here we are. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good move. Darren, how did yes. you how did you get connected with the Williamsons? Well, I was living in uh, Oak Grove, Louisiana, about northeast corner, and. Uh, mutual friend of the groups at the time sang at my church, and they were a trio. You remember Ben Scroggs and Inheritance Trio, just right out of Risto. And they asked me if I'd sing a, ba a song with them to make them a quartet for one or two songs, and I did. About six months later, I was about halfway through my senior year of high school, and I get a phone call from this guy. And my mom says, well, you're finishing high school. You know? <laughs> and, uh, and Donnie Lutton just perfect time of God, but it, it worked out. I, I drove back and forth every weekend for about four or five months. And moved up the day after I graduated. I think I, I think I uh, graduated on a, a Wednesday or a Thursday, and I was in Little Rock heading, I think we were heading to Ontario, Canada or something. I think so. Uh, that Friday. So. Down the road ever since. 13, 13 years later, still here. Wow. We figured out just a couple of weeks ago that in one more year, he would have been with us half of his life. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's amazing. It is. Now, Darren, obviously, on bass, which people have probably already mm -hmm. guessed if they didn't know, uh, we saw a picture that you had uh, recently with the whole Williamson plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, at one time or another, all those people are up on the platform with you. Yeah. Who, tell me who's, who, who's involved now. Well, along with my wife and myself, uh, with my wife's name is Lisa, my name is Donnie. I do the baritone part. She does the tenor alto part. And then Carl Rice, a uh, longtime first tenor in the male quartet, but I uh, talked him into Lord of the Third and singing lead with us, doing a great job there. And you probably didn't know it, but we've got a brand new addition. Yeah, uh, my wife's younger brother, Bo. Oh, we've Bo seen him. Yeah. Is he permanent? Is he full time? He's with now? us full time now. All he had right. been with us off and on since he was eight or ten years yeah. old. Yeah. But uh, there were always activities that he couldn't go all the time. And then he got into college, and that took up a lot of time. But he graduated last May, and now he's traveling full time. Yeah. Playing guitar, playing mandolin, piano, trumpet, and doing some singing too. Very talented. And then Lisa and I have two daughters, Sadie, she's 13, Olivia is 11, and uh, now they're getting up and singing just about every program. Mm -hmm. That was a great picture. Was the, yeah. the whole Williamson <laughs> extended family. It was, it a lot less really room good. on the bus these days. I, I didn't <laughs> think of that, but uh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. Tell me about the new CD. And it's, it's been amazing, you know, tell somebody, I don't care if it was my project, it was a really good CD. In fact, it won Album of the Year, uh, the Diamond Awards. And uh, when you have something that good, you wonder what you're going to do for the next one. 
and I've been concerned about that, but we, uh, we worked with Les Butler, the Butler Music Group, and also uh, Donna did such a great job on Tell Somebody, I wanted her to be involved. So we started working and gathering material, but the interesting thing